I'm doing a video testing the performance of the smileys against each other. I kind of put the cart in front of the horse. So I want to back up, do, do a little video just going over the differences, the build quality of the antennas. So these are three of the four smiley antennas that are tuned for 465 megahertz. What's missing is what they call a mini or a stubby duck. It's a real small 5 8 wave antenna. This one is what they call the slim duck, which is a, a longer version. And this one I've used for a few months. I was really impressed with the performance of it comparing um, some other antennas with some other radios. Uh, not sure if it was a radio or the antenna or a combination of both of them. I mean, you have a nice metal base here. Nice flexible plastic compound and a nice rubber tip on the end of the antenna. And it's flexible. And this is also, like I said, this is 5 8 wave shortened, so of course it's coiled a bit. So it prompted me to try the other antennas. Uh, two of them that caught my eye was the quarter wave whip. It looks like it's not coiled, but a full quarter wave antenna. It's flexible, it's got a nice metallic base, a you know, nice taper on it. I mean, excellent construction. Same quality of the tip. And then, the super stick I was hesitant to try this one because I'm not a fan of telescopic antennas. I figured, you know, for, for GMRS, it, won't, it wouldn't be too long. So why not give it a try? So this is a quarter wave collapsed and extended. It is five eighths wave and it's about 17 inches long. And also notice that there is some flex in the base. It's not totally stiff. So if it's on a radio, then there is some give to it to you know, protect the base. So you, you can move around some. Now another thing that caught my mind, eye with these is you know how when you have different radios with different connectors, most of the HTs are SMAs. And you have a SMA female here, and then you got a male here and another male. Okay. So you have to buy an antenna with um, typical base. Here's the factor antenna. You know, that for the 916, it's a female. And then the factor one for the 9G Pro is it's a male. So they're not, they're not interchangeable. They have to go with the radio. So with the smileys, what they did is they had this, the base is detachable. It's a TX connector and it unscrews. What this does is allows you to put this antenna on either radio. I can put it on a male or a female port on a radio. So I can have it on 916 here. If I have a different port on another radio, like the 9G, I can just take it, the whip off, and then I can just throw on the different antenna on the other radio and go. Hams like to use, or they used to like to use B and C connectors to, to do the same thing. It's a good connector, but I wasn't a fan of having a large connector of that size on top of an HT. It, to me, it seemed like it was a, you know, a good way to maybe something break. Now, like this old, ancient Radio Shack HT, yeah, it can be in C and you can take it on and off. It's bayonet connectors, really, it's good for that. It really is. But on, on the smaller radios, eh, I don't know, not so much. What drawn me to these, that I didn't have to buy, you know, three antennas for one radio and then three more for the other radio because it's a different uh, mount. Anyway, hope this is a little helpful to you if you're looking at these antennas trying to figure out which way to go. It's a good idea just to get a family of them, at least two. I'll probably just, you know, get these two. You have short and long and you know, great performance and then you can mix and match with the radios. You could order one with the female connector, one with the male connector, and that way you can swap them in and out. It's an idea. Anyway, have a good day.